Welcome to another episode of the DJ Podcast. In this week's video, we're going to be going over how to edit a track in Ableton Live. Now, a viewer that goes by the letter S sent in uh, an email to contact at the djpodcast.com and asked to see a video on how to edit a track in Ableton Live. So here we go. Here's how I went through editing a track called Jupiter by Tassadi. So let's jump into Ableton Live and take a look at what we're doing. All right, so here you can see we have the original track of Jupiter. It's about four minutes and 30 seconds long. And this is my edit of the track, which is about seven minutes long. Now this must have been the album version of the track uh, when it originally came out. Uh, and I bought it, not thinking that it was going to be so short. My mistake. Remixes did come out later that were extended mixes. But I figured, hey, I've already bought the track. Why don't I just use this? as a time to, you know, learn more about Ableton and create an edit. And this was some time ago. I can't remember exactly when. Down here you can see that I have uh, my edit of the track from the Ableton project that I was working on before. And you can see that the main thing is that the breakdown here is actually in twice. And this is because a lot of the times in a longer track you have either two of the same breakdowns or one breakdown that's uh, kind of extended or longer than the other. And we're, I'm just going to show you how I went about and um, chopped it up to create this edit. Now the important thing to remember when you're creating an edit is that you want to follow the standard bars and phrase format of electronic dance music. Okay, so the way that I'm going to go about showing you how I went through this is to kind of just chop up the track and that way, uh, you know, I can kind of move things around and show you how this all goes together. So the first thing I'm going to do is, uh, you can see I'm just going to copy the start here because I don't really want to change the, I don't really want to change the structure of the track per se. I just want to extend it a bit. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is copy the beginning, which you can see here. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to copy one bar here I believe this is correct it's 21 to 25 all right and now I'm going to copy this section okay and I'm going to extend this out to 89 okay then I'm going to take I'm actually going to take this part here and copy it over. So here we have the end at 89, and here is 85 to 89. So actually, I can just take that, and that's a better way of showing it. So you've got this part to 89, or to 85, 85 to 89. And then we've got the end of the track as its own. Here, we'll just copy this down. Okay. So now you can see that I've gone through the original and just chopped it up a bit. And these are essentially the same parts that become here or become longer here, but these are the different parts of the track. So you can see that I've kept things within a certain um, structure. I've kept the structure basically the same. You can see that here, if you go by, you know, you're your phrases and your bars. Here's 33. This is usually the intro. And then I go one bar over and then I make a cut. All right, make a cut here for a four bar, for four bars. And then I go from 41 to 101. That's 60. And then we have uh, four, so that could be 64. And then we have the end here, which you know just trails off at the end. So it, it's about 40 by the time it actually ends. We can just cut that off here. So if we were to do this again, you can see we have 33 bars. We have, uh, yeah, 32 here. We have another 32 here. We have uh, then 32 here. So we keep the 32 bar structure still intact. 
And then, yeah, we have the end, which uh, kind of just tapers off. Oh, it's about 16 here at the end. So that's all great and dandy. So now let's go about actually lengthening things up. All right. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to move all of this over here. We're going to take this. We're going to set the loop length to 4. Okay. We're going to start the position at 1 or at 21. And, we're, and you can see here that the loop is the same length as the clip. We're going to say loop. And we're just going to loop it out. So this is three to, uh, three loops. or the loop, It's looped three times, I should say. So you can see here that we end at 21. Then we start at 21. And end at 25. And that's looped three times. And then we pick back up at 25. So there's so it's basically a flawless loop. Then what we're going to do is we're going to leave this breakdown the same because we, you know, we don't want to change the breakdown. If anything, we want more of the breakdown. All right. So then what we're going to do is we're going to just move this stuff over here. And now we are going to start working on getting the breakdown uh, back into the track or adding it again. And what I ended up doing was I put this here. All right. And then I copied the breakdown. All right. So let's take a look at what I just did there. So I copied the breakdown, but what I did was I moved the start position to 33. You might be asking yourself why I did that. Because when you look at this here, it ends at 85. And then we have 85 to 89. All right. And that is eight bars from the end of the breakdown, or basically eight bars after the breakdown ends. Okay. So if we're adding in the additional eight bars here, that means that we need to take out some from the beginning of this. So this is why we start at 33 here. And we're going to end at 85. So we're going to leave the end of the breakdown the same. As you see, it ends at 85. And what we're going to do is to add some more time, we're going to move this over. And we're going to loop this part here. So you can see that our clip goes from 85 to 89. Once again, our loop is the same amount of time as our clip. We're going to turn loop on. So we are looping from 85 to 89, and we're going to make four more copies. So one more, uh, you know, one more set there. Okay. And you hear that it sounds great because we end at 89, and then we pick right back up at 89 and go out to the end. And that is essentially how I went about creating this edit. Now, the important thing to remember when you are creating an edit in Ableton is that you want to stick with the standard beats, bars, phrases within the track. You don't really want to change the structure. You mainly just want to change where things are. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys soon with another episode of the DJ Podcast. Take care.